go by the name R. H. Bless. I'm the number one doctor in my project. Uh, some of my cast members are in the audience. I believe. Make some noise if you're out there. I want to make sure I see you. Peter Hoppin from The Treatment, directed by Joffrey Guerrero. And my co star was Luis Martinez. Yeah. And then we have for Perceptions, um, uh, Chad Quinn and uh, Charles Jones, the director. Um, I'm just tired of cell phones and people using them in public. <laughs> 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 but, you know, it was uh, the simplicity of the story is just an elderly, elderly man who's caught in the world of technology and all he's looking for is his newspaper and it's actually dying out. So yeah. that's what Everybody can relate to that. Thank you. Um, for me, the inspiration was not wanting to be pigeonholed into doing one genre of film. Uh, the first film I did was called Peace of Sunny with Betty very um, urban street, so to say. So my partner, Antoine, and I were driving to Williamsburg one day, and I just was like, you know, I wonder what's going on in the lives of these people walking down the street. And I, when I tend to always do that, just imagine what, what these people's lives are like, you know? And, um, and I think the next couple of days, I just came up with a storyline, and it's as simple as that, to really show a, a range in my writing to really be yeah. yeah. So the treatment is based on a true story, and it was a stepping stone towards the feature, which we now have in place. We have the feature script in place. Um, so it's all about baby steps and getting closer to where we want to be. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Um, the inspiration was basically what's going on in the world right now. Uh, but we wanted to really show an accurate uh, picture of what's going on with the narrative. It's not just simply black and white. Um, it's more so about that black and blue. We want them to take a stand. We haven't seen that. We want the inspiration of like, what would make them stand up? What would it take for someone besides a black person to say, okay, enough is enough. I have students that also teach and they say, well, you think the story is just like white cops on black people? I said, no. You've seen the situation with Freddie Gray or you know, North Carolina, you got black cops killing black people too. So that's what the inspiration was. To add, to add to that, just to give you some background, the three of us on a conference call in August 2015, and uh, we had just, I think we were just at the AFF in New York, and we were talking about what we wanted to do to kind of raise the bar you know, creatively, but also say something responsible. Because, you know, and, and, and it's like, no sooner than we started working on this, this the more events started happening. More events started happening. But one of the things that we wanted to make sure that we got across in the film was that it's about um, policing in the United States is, a, is, an, is, is an institution that's not gonna be changed by outside pressures. It has to change from within. The things that are going on in the police departments, and there's some great police officers out there, and I, I have to say that because I know some, right? But the problems that we face every day all over this country, the only way it's gonna change is when the people that are supposed to be good cops change from within. Right. So we want to say that this is not a black and white issue, this is a black and blue issue, it's about the abuse of power, it's about corruption, and it's about folks being tired. And that's really where we have with that. And, it, and, and the perceptions, I caught the gimmicks, the perceptions of how, how we're seen in, in public is a, is a big issue for us. And that's why, you know, people think we're just one dimensional people, and we're not. There's so many different sides to us. So, Thank you. that's it. Thank you for that. I want to add that the October Film Festival is not just about the awards, which is gonna happen later. This is really about having a platform. Emlyn Stewart founded the October Film Festival to give filmmakers a place to nurture their work. And this is a nice theater, the symphony space, you like this? Give it up, give it up for the symphony. And it's about getting these messages out. You know, get, getting a chance to, and being able to do, talk about the seriousness and also being able to laugh, because laughter is life. So it's the whole spectrum. So thank you so much for that. And let's talk about one of your best moments while creating this production, like a standout moment for you. I worked with Jerry Stiller then there. <laughs> <laughs> Last time they will work together on film. That was the last film. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite a bit of history right there. Uh, 
uh, the standout moment would just be completing it because so right. many projects right. get started and never see completion. So that was that's always the most exciting to me. Yeah, two things. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. The best moment in the treatment was probably the worst moment for me. It was the fight scene when I uh, accidentally got hit in the face. Um, yeah, I won't forget that moment. It was, uh, yeah, it was, it was real. <laughs> Well, I guess the best moment for me was being able to um, get to work with these two uh, remarkable brothers and, um, you know, and being able to uh, go out. We actually did the film in L.A. and also uh, being able to have my son, uh, Isaiah. Stand up, please, my brother. <laughs> yeah. uh, being able to have him in the film was um, just, I can't even, there's no words for that for me. Really guys favor like we had a lot of people in there but just the humility they came on set with um, and secondly this moment you know we worked so hard from the time as a thought it is on paper to your rehearsing to have your family my mom my sister my wife it means a lot to see that oh standout moment well you know the reality is I mean it, it's been a it's been a journey Right. Um, but I think the biggest thing for us was that we had an incredible ensemble cast. As you guys can see, we had Emily Whitfield, Melinda Williams, Til Terrell Tilford, Wendy Davis. We had some incredible people come out and do this for us. And they did it for love. They, there was no pressure, there was no egos, no money. <laughs> so, and I, I can't say that. Alec Ballard did his thing, man. Make sure y'all kids, he's on the catch, right? Sean Brown's the joint, right? He's on the catch, he's on the criminal lines. That brother really looked out for us crazy. So we had a, a I think, working with those people, you know, like, it humbled me crazy because, you know, I'm used to barking. <laughs> Wasn't no barking on this set, you know? It was like, hey, can I get you to do this? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Please. But um, it, was, um, it was a wonderful experience, and I'm really happy that we did it. Um, awesome. But I think there's a few more wonderful things for us to do. Awesome. Congratulations again to you all. Congratulations.